Hi, I do ho guitar maniacs. What's up? It's Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio. Hey, this is the guitar amp that you heard on all the guitar parts on that track at the beginning of the video. Look at it. It's tiny. It's the orange terror stamp. So why is it over here? Well, I decided I'd just hook it up in my amp switcher world here. I have an Ampede amp switcher that lets me switch between eight heads. Uh, and so essentially what's going on is I'm plugging my guitar into my pedal board, coming out of my pedal board into the amp switcher, and it's feeding the terror stamp here. But just think of it as like basically guitar, pedal board, into the terror stamp, out of the terror stamp, out into a Marshall cabinet in the other room that's mic'd up. And I was surprised, this thing makes some volume. I don't know what's going on, what they packed in there, what kind of magic, but it's, it's quite loud. So the controls couldn't be simpler. You got a gain control, a shape control. This is the only tone control, the shape control on the unit. And then you got two master volume controls. And the foot switch actually switches between the two volume controls, okay? So you can kind of preset like a, a rhythm volume and a solo volume, essentially. Now the gain control is your main kind of uh, gain and overdrive setting. As you turn that up, it gets grindy. Anywhere above five starts getting real grindy. You'll hear that in a bit here. But also the two volume controls affect distortion. If you're cranking this thing up, it, it makes distortion. It's not just like clean power all the way up. I know it's solid state and all that, but whatever's going on with it, uh, if you've got these volumes anywhere up above half, you'll also get more distortion, kind of a nice kind of natural grind out of the two master volume controls, the higher that they're set. So obviously the thinking here, I think, is put this thing on a pedal board and have some pedals uh, before it. It's also got an effects loop in it. I actually used some drives and stuff because I wanted to see what those sounded like into this thing. I think that's kind of the intended use. So when I break down all those tracks at the beginning of the video, I'm going to tell you for each individual part what pedals that I use to get those sounds. But a lot of the tracks are just this. Like, for instance, the two rhythm guitars that start the song. That's just the terror stamp, and it's built-in drive. And what I found is I had kind of a preferred setting uh, where I found, like, okay, this is the sweet spot on this thing. Because it can actually get pretty gnarly. Like, with the gain control up above 1 o'clock, it gets quite distorted and kind of crazy sounding. And so I preferred it with the gain lower, and then if I wanted more distortion, I'd hit it with a pedal. Which isn't to say that the dis distortion character of it isn't pleasing, it's just it goes beyond a certain point and then I didn't find it that usable. But below a certain point there was actually some really cool grind tones to be had, for sure. And I really especially liked it with single coils. I enjoyed playing my green uh, Sir S-style guitar through it, I think, the most. That sounded really cool. Orange amps all kind of have like a sonic kind of character to them, to me, and it's a a fuller character. That's why they're great for like stoner rock or, you know, doom or stuff like that. Anything that's got like lots of low end. And this kind of has that character. And especially as you start piling the gain on, it's got that almost like fuzzy character as you really get the gain up high. But there's a magic sweet spot, and especially down lower, where those tones can sound like super cool, where it's just starting to grind up and it's got a great fat sound. And that's what I really liked with single coils. All right, so let's solo a bunch of those parts outside of the mix so you can hear them clearly. I'll detail what I did on all of them. And also, I want to use my TC Ditto Looper to play a guitar loop through the pedal so that I can turn the knobs and, you know, show you what all the controls do and stuff like that. All right, here we go. It's the Terror Stamp from Orange. <laughs>
Guitar Maniacs, there you have it. From Orange, the Terror Stamp. Cool, cool little guitar amp. You can throw this in your gig bag, take it with you. I mean, some guys out there might use this as their main rig, it's quite possible. But if not your main rig, it's a great practice amp and it's also like a killer backup. I mean, to have this, it's it's loud. I mean, it's that's hard to show in a video like this, but it's quite loud. So if you get into trouble at a gig, you can always hook up this bad boy in your cupboard. One thing I forgot to mention, it's got a headphone cab sim out on it. That's a cool thing too. And it's really about the size of something like an MXR flanger. You can check it out further at the website that you see there down in the video description below. Please click there and it'll take you to all the info you could ever possibly want to know about the Orange Terror Stamp. Please hit subscribe if you haven't. Click the little bell beside the subscribe. You'll get an alert every time I put out a new video. Hey, I am Pete Thorne. See you real soon for more videos. Over now.